When you're at the point in your mix where you want to render stems, uh, Reaper has got some tools that can be very useful for uh, making this job a bit easier. So say for instance, I'm just gonna choose a very short time selection for the purposes of this video. Here we have all the tracks laid out. Pair it. I, I use um, folders and these are the children tracks. So you could be using buses rather than folders but let's call them groups, folders, whatever. So I just go to my groups or folders view. So we've got effects, vocal, BVs, drums, percussion, bass, guitars, keyboards. So those are all the, the stems that I want to print. Now, when I go to render, stems, selected track, that's what I want, time selection. I'm going to browse for the directory, so that'll be on the desktop. Do them in there. Now, sample rate, output format, WAV, 24-bit. Here are some of the first options uh, using wildcards. So the first thing you might want to do would be track. Take out project. So to have that wildcard in here, if I render, I'll show you. So here we end up with, with this. If you want to deliver these to a client, you can see that they're in a different order to the order they are in the session. So what you might think you would do is add another wildcard in your render, which would be track number, and then track, so that you'd end up with, hopefully, numbers one through 10, 12, however many uh, tracks there are. But let's see what happens. Render those. So here now we've got one effects, correct. Next vocal, yep. Next BVs, but look what's happened. Track one, track seven, track nine. It's given you the, the track number based on all the tracks. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, it is track seven, but maybe that's not how we want the stems to appear when we deliver them to the client. See, for me, obviously, that means the client can drag these stems into their session in the correct order, because technically they're going up in order numerically. But it's a little bit untidy, and I'm a little bit picky about that. So let's see if there's another way we can do this. Go back to our stems view, select all the stems, but deselect overheads because I'm not going to include that in the render. Now there's a new script that I don't think is available unless you've got the latest version of Reaper, which is 5.980 is the version of Reaper I'm talking about, and also the latest version of SWS extensions, which comes with the Repack or the Rear Pack. Now somewhere in there is this tool, which is an amazing tool. A mag amagalma track item name man manipulation. I'll say it again. Amagalma track item name manipulation. So let's run that and see what happens. Ah, okay. So I haven't explored all of these things, but we can do things like, for example, if these equal signs are useful to me, but not maybe useful to the client. We can trim the start by one character. Watch what happens. Okay, I can trim the end by one character. Watch what happens. So all those things have gone, but look, it hasn't affected the overheads because the overheads were not selected. So this tool works on the tracks you have highlighted or selected. So then what we can do is put number in. Now, if I just put five in, it should say, here is the format you can do. Now, S means suffix, P means prefix. So suffix will be after, and prefix will be before the name. Okay, and then you've got two formats, one digit or two digits, or space. Okay, so let's do, this is what I would do, is prefix 01. And watch what happens. You get 
O1 space FX, O2 space vocal, O3 space BVs. It's absolutely brilliant for rendering stems because now when I render them, uh, let me show you one more thing before I go out of here. So the suffix would be name of the song. So this is called Carve My Name. So I'm going to put CMN, CMN. And actually I'll put a space before C. Now we've got FX, Carve My Name, Vocal, Carve My Name, BV's Carve My Name. So I could even put the date, my name, uh, the session number, whatever. I also look, I can change everything to lowercase everything to uppercase. It's a really great tool for this job. So let's render now. Stems, time selection. Now I don't need anything here apart from track. Okay, so what track wildcard does is prints this information to the WAV file. So that's why the um, Amagalma tool is so brilliant because we put the information in here then we need to use track wildcard, render 11 files. So now we have our stems. Track one, effects, song name. Track two, vocal song name. Track three, BV song name. So whatever information you want to deliver to your client or to yourself, you can put it in in this way. Okay, thanks for watching. Any questions, leave a comment uh, below the video or go to my website, johngarden.net, and uh, send me an email. Okay, thanks.